Hey, it's Gavin here. Great to have you back with me. We're going to kick this off in three seconds. And our first exercise we've got is a stance jack. Stance jacks look like this. Feet together, hop to the side, reach down. So I'm tilting from the hips. It's not a squat, okay? Make sure you don't squat. So hop and drop. So tilt from the hips, back in. So we stand tall after each one. Reach down. So we're lengthening the hamstrings. Pop back up. Again, heads up, back straight. What I want you to avoid is this ugly looking thing. That's a no-go. Keep your head up. Don't drop into a squat. So knees bend slightly, just a touch. And we're going for 50 seconds on this exercise. I'm gonna hop and face you. Now let's keep at it. So we've got a good workout coming up. A nice little routine that I think you'll be delighted with. Something like that. So let's see what we can do. We've got ooh, five seconds to go here. Two, one, and bang. All right, so. I'm gonna take this down to the ground. Reasonably tough, so we've got two options here. You can go high plank and just hold this here. Otherwise, we're gonna go plank jacks. Plank jacks are these. You're gonna hop your feet to the side, hop them back in. Hop. And if you wanna make this harder, you can go low plank, so only four arms, and do the same thing. This is a little bit easier. Now, what I want you to avoid is arse up in the air and old humpy humpy. We don't wanna do that either. So hop to the side, keep that rigid line from the ankle up through the hips to the shoulders. And you're in a rhythm here, so it's just a hop to the side. Every little hop is gonna get those abs fired up, your core working, more so than what it would be just staying here. Okay, keep your head up, trying to look down like this. Shoulders over the hands or thereabouts. And at every, any point that you need to rest, give yourself five seconds and then get back to it. All right, so you've got the 10 seconds rest here. I'm gonna go throw in some squat jacks. So similar to the stance jacks, but this time I do want you to squat. Okay, so it looks like this. We drop right down, spring up. All right, so I'm doing it fairly slow here. You can pick up the pace, try and get those legs working, try and get your heart rate up a bit more. Okay, so a bit more like this. This is a bit more full speed. And if you struggle with this one, same with the stand shape, you can just step to the side, squat, 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 okay? And the same on those stance jacks, just a step to the side. And for now, let's get this going, let's get this party started. Come on now. Strong legs, throw my arms back to help me spring up. Four, three, Two, now one. Here we go. All right, going down to the ground. We're gonna go with those bicycles. So, come and join me. All right, hands on the temples or just behind the head. I'm gonna rotate the body. Shoulders just coming off the ground slightly. Long legs. Now if you need to, if your back isn't staying down or your neck strains, then you can just put your hands under your back slightly here and pedal like so. If that's an easier option for you, you may need that one. Otherwise, this is what we're looking for. Controlled. Breathe. Don't need to come all the way up. A lot of people think that they need to go right up there. That's not the case. Control that movement, get the legs out long. That's where a lot of the work is done here. Get those lower abs fired up. Two, and one. Come back up. All right, next up, mountain climber. So we're staying on the mat. Now, rapid fire. If you need to put your hands on a chair or a table, and this is what we're looking for. So, eh, knees to elbows. And if your core is a little bit on the weaker side, you might struggle with this one after doing the plank jacks and those bicycles. Depends on what you've done before this. You may have done one of our rubber routines. You may be fresh. In which case, if you're fresh, you should be okay. This is what I recommend. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. You go again. Anytime you need a rest, that's what you do. Only if you need a rest though. Don't throw those in willy-nilly. Only when you need a rest. 
Boom. All right, head back up on your feet. So we're going into the second round now. Stance jacks. I'm looking to try and up the pace. Now remember, if you need to, you've got the step option. Okay, otherwise, this is the option I want you to do. Remember, head up, back straight. Keep it coming. Quick feet. Go, go, go. Butt back, head up. Don't collapse the back, keep that chest high. Don't pick up the pace. Come on, give it some welly now. Come on, we can do this. Last eight seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. Good work. All right, plank jacks down to the ground. Let's get set. High plank position. Here we go. Hop and back in. Again, try and keep your head up. Don't want your bum up here. And know the humpy humpy down there. Try and keep your shoulders over the hands. Find your rhythm. Control the breathing. Pull the belly button in. Up towards the spine if you can. Slipping a little bit. Breathe. Drop it down. I'm going to give myself a couple of seconds. Back on again. I want good form. Good technique all the way through. So sometimes, even when you see me stop, I'm thinking about technique as well. Not just that my lungs might be going, my technique's starting to look a bit shoddy. That tells you you need to stop as well. All right, squat jacks is the option for you. Step and squat. Otherwise, let's go for it. Come on now. Not long left for this workout. Come on. Let's get those legs working. Keep that heart rate high. Throw those arms back. Get a spring in the step. Butt down low. I know we're getting tired now. Gotta keep pushing. Go, go, go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo. All right, let's take it down. All right, lie back on that bike. Now make sure you're on the big bike, not the little tricycle thing that people do. Legs all the way out. And remember, if you need to, if your head's struggling, you're straining, drop your head down, but put your hands under your butt. Control pace. Don't get any extra points for going light and fast on this. When I see people go quickly on this, the technique goes out the window. Pulling the belly button in towards the spine. Control. Now the legs might start to burn up a touch here. Come on. Good tempo. Not too quick. And again, not too slow either. There we go. All right, let's get up. The last one. All right, the climbers. All right, let's see if we can make it all the way through without having to stop. This is our last one. So let's see what's in the tank. <coughs> Control your tempo. So wherever you're doing this, hands on a chair, table, we're gonna try and go all the way through. This is the challenge for you. It's a beast. By the way, this is my least favorite exercise. Go find the zone now. We've got 20 seconds. And if I wasn't challenging you or myself right now, I'd have probably stopped. Oh, come on. Seven seconds to go. We can do this. Now, 
voila. So there we go. Now one of those climbers there, especially towards the end, you might feel the shoulders kicking in a little bit. But for me there, I can actually feel my abs working, okay? And that's the goal there, to get everyone else up to scratch that you actually focus on the muscles that we want. So climbers, mountain climbers, they're a great core exercise. It's just often people lack in their cardio fitness or the shoulder strength to keep it going. All right, but that is us there. We're gonna stretch out a touch on your feet. We'll stay down on the ground, up to you. You can stretch on the mat if you like. All right, let's get those heels down into the ground. Usual stretch. And I recommend stretching it afterwards if you're a little bit stiff. Push those heels down, bring the butt up high. Deep breaths now, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Feel so that recovery washing over you. And the other way. A great job there. Throw in a couple of core exercises there, get the old abs working. All right, spin to the side. I'm gonna drop my knee down for this one. Push those hips forward. Arm up, reach across. So the arm that you want up is the same as the back leg. A lot of people get confused with that. Like, huh? which one? Which one do I do? That's the one, back leg, that's the arm. You're gonna feel that stretch a little bit more towards the top. Switch around. Again, push your hips forward. Deep breaths, still trying to get that recovery in. Now reach up high. And then do another little stretch while we're here. What I call 90-90, we'll stretch out the glutes so your butt cheeks. Now some people will feel this and other people will be like, don't do anything for me, but that's just a case of quite flexible around the butt cheeks. Hmm. That doesn't sound very right, but. So right angles, you're gonna lean forward over the front knee, okay? So just push your chest right down on towards the knee and you should feel that towards the back side. Control the breathing if you're still a little bit out of breath. Good thing is the, the fitter you get, the quicker your recovery should be. But by now, a few weeks down the line maybe, you should be, ah, that wasn't too bad. So what the key is when you get to that point is to push yourself. So during those exercises, you know, can you take it up a gear? Can you take it up a notch? Can you step outside your comfort zone a little bit more? And that's how you get fitter and to a certain degree you know, the fat loss will look after itself. You strive to do better each workout, each exercise. You know, try and get those extra couple of reps out. Because sometimes it's those last 10 seconds of a movement that really make the difference. That's what's telling your body to say, hang on a minute, this is serious, we need to up our game here. And that's, that's the point you need to get into. And, and sometimes that's a, like a flick of a switch in your mind. So you can get to that point where you're telling yourself, come on, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep going. Last couple of reps. Then that's where the changes will happen. All right, so that's enough uh, wisdom and philosophy for you right there. I will see you next time. Stretch out a little bit more, foam roller. All right, take care for now.